Hello everyone, welcome to day 7th of every really good challenge and today's question is shortest distance to a character. Uh, in this question, you are given a character, you were given a string of characters and uh, an instance of a particular character. You need to return uh, the shortest distance of each character from that character. Uh, so let's look at one of the examples and try to understand the question. The question says you're given a string as love lead code and a, a particular character uh, whose distance is to be calculated uh, is E. From which the distance is to be calculated is E. And uh, you need to, for each character in the string, you need to tell uh, what is the sh sh shortest distance of that character from the current character. So uh, for L, uh, the, sh the distance is three. For O, the distance is two. For V, the distance is one. And since E itself is, a, is that element, the distance is 0. For next L, the distance is 1. By virtue of this E or this C, either case, the, both the E's can be treated uh, at equal precedence. And uh, here it's 0, 0. Again, it's uh, 1. Uh, then you get 2 by virtue of this E. And then you get D. Uh, at D, uh, the distance is 1 by virtue of this E. So this is what we need to calculate and return the new uh, array, which is the actual distance, which is the distances array, the shortest distances array. So let's look at the algorithm that has created for this. It's a pretty simple question, not very hard to understand or solve by yourself. I would highly suggest uh, coming up with one of the approach and then uh, looking at the video solution from here. So what are the two possibilities that we need to consider in terms of distance? Uh, at For any particular character, let's take this string as an example and the character that we are interested in as the reference point, uh, let's take it as A. And for any particular instance of a character, uh, what are the two possibilities? Which, uh, which distance is to be considered? One from the le uh, left A and one from the right A which out of these two whichever is one whichever is the minimum one we will pick up that so in this case the distance is one two three and in this case the distance is four so we'll pick up three so the distance of a d from the nearest a is is three let's take another example f what is the left distance uh, the left distance is this what is the right distance? The right distance is this. Uh, which one will we pick? Uh, we'll pick the lower one and uh, hence the distance becomes 2. So this is 2 and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 5. This is what we need to do for each character and build our array. So let's uh, look at uh, the solution. So what are we going to do? Uh, we will first move in the left direction starting from the 0th index uh, till the end of the array, uh, the length of the array. And uh, we will uh, define a left distance array which, uh, to which is always initialized to infinity values. And we will keep on iterating till we don't witness uh, the character that we are expecting. And as soon we see that see that character, uh, from there, we'll start calculating the distances for the further elements. So let's do a dry run of this. In this case, uh, the character that we're interested in, uh, the point of reference character is E. And uh, L is not equal to E. This value remains as it is. We move ahead. O is not equal to E. Move, move ahead. Infinity. The distance is infinity. For V, it's again infinity. We got our first instance of E. And uh, since these two are equal, we'll update the distance to zero and we'll move ahead with the iteration and from here uh, the values will be uh, incrementally updated the distance bit becomes one and we again witness an e the distance becomes zero again we witness an e it becomes zero then again one and furthermore two three four and zero so we have built our left array as infinity, 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 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 0. As soon as you see an E character, you reset the counter. And this is what we are going, uh, doing. 
and otherwise you keep on incrementing the counter by one since the distance is increasing by one. Uh, let's do a similar kind of a process where we are moving in the reverse direction from the length till uh, the first character and since this is e itself we update this to zero uh, then we get d distance gets updated to one this gets updated to two three four uh, we witness uh, e again that means to reset the counter this gets updated to zero again zero one zero one two and three and afterwards what we need to do we need to pick up uh, the lowest uh, one out of these two values for each index so the new array becomes something like this 3 2 1 0 1 0 0 then we have 1 versus 4 so we get 1 then 2 versus 3 we get 2 then 3 versus 2 we get 2 4 versus 1 we get 1 and 0 versus 0 we get 0 so this is our answer array and this is what uh, we have done uh, to com compute uh, the answer array so uh, what is the time complexity of this approach the time complexity of this approach is a, it's a two pass uh, uh, solution so you, you are iterating through the array twice one in the right direction and one in the left direction so the, ti the time complexity becomes order of n what is the space complexity you need to store your answer array which is again taking a space of order of n also you can uh, you can optimize it uh, in terms of having one array or you can have multiple arrays of uh, one for the right and one for the left and one for the answer it's up to you but that optimization can be done and the space complexity and the time complexity both becomes order of n so let's quickly get started with the uh, coding part defining a variable len that will store the length of the string s dot length and defining an array left distance new int length similarly defining the right distance array as well here right dist equals to new int length and let's initialize these two arrays by the maximum integer value left is integer dot max value similarly for the right disk part the right distance part default value has been initialized to maximum value of integer variable and let's define a running this variable running distance variable which is initialized to the maximum value this would be needed for the cases you don't witness your first instance of uh, the character C that you're searching for. So let's build the left array first. For uh, sorry, the right array first. We are moving into the right direction i equals to 0, i is less than len, i plus plus. If s dot char at i equals equals to the given character, we will update the running distance to 0 and we will fill in the right disk with of i with whatever the value of running distance is, which in this case would be 0. Otherwise, uh, what the we will update the running distance by one and fill in the right distance variable. With, we'll update the right distance variable with the updated running distance variable. Also, we need to take care of the case uh, where you have not found your first instance of C, uh, where uh, for the case where running distance is already at the maximum value. For running distance is not equal to integer dot max value for those cases you only need to do this otherwise it's already set to the maximum value the running right distance is already set to the maximum value so we have done with we have moved from left to right direction and let's do it for the other case where we are moving from 
right to left direction and for that case let's initialize i with len minus 1 i is greater than 0 i minus minus I'm copy pasting the exact code also let's initialize again the running distance to integer dot max value and this time we'll update the left array instead of the right one that's the only difference otherwise the rest of the code is same and now let's find let's build our answer array so let's say a new array answer array new int and the size again would be order of uh, n uh, the length of the input string and integer i equals to 0 i is less than len i plus plus ans of i equals to math dot min write this comma left test and you return ns let's try this up looks great and let me just submit it accepted uh, there are a few optimizations that you can do in terms of uh, defining three new we have defined three new arrays of length uh, equal to the length of the string uh, we can optimize on this and we can define only a singular array and can do the manipulation of that on that but it's like it becomes slightly confusing uh, this is a more clearer way of writing the code because uh, we are able to understand what we are actually doing in this code you can also print these values and see that these are appropriately filled in in terms of moving from left to right or right to left Sorry for the typo here. And again, I'm writing order of time complexity, the order of n. Space complexity is again order of n. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it.